Now, fresh off her win, uh, uh, Democratic governor-elect Gretchen Whitmer has elected to put a corporate healthcare executive on her transition team. Well, that is no surprise. This is according to a great article written by Zid Jelani uh, in The Intercept. Now, according to Jelani, Whitmer uh, named one of her honorary co-chairs of her transition team. Um, uh, that, that guy uh, is Daniel uh, Lepp. He is the president and CEO of Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan. So this guy is going to be her honorary co-chair for her uh, governor uh, uh, gubernatorial transition. Now, this should not be a shock to anybody who's paid attention to her during the primary. She has gotten a lot of money from the healthcare industry. As The Intercept notes, during her campaign against progressive Abdul Al-Sayed, she ended up getting a lot of help from her friends in the industry. Uh, for example, Whitmer was hosted at a fundraiser thrown by lobbyists for Blue Cross Blue Shield. She ended up getting $144,000 during a single day at the event. That is a lot more than she uh, could have raised from regular donors. So she went after the big donors, her friends in the industry, of course, people who uh, have uh, worked with her and known her for a very long time. In fact, she calls uh, Daniel Lepp one of her inspirations for getting into politics. Again, the CEO of Blue Cross Blue Shield. Well, that's great. Um, now, it should be noted that the reason these healthcare lobbyists were raising so much money for Whitmer, uh, not just because of the personal ties, not just because her father was, uh, 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 her, her father was uh, Richard Whitmer, who was also the head of Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan, but because her opponent was campaigning on establishing a statewide single-payer healthcare system. Now, look, uh, I I've spoken to El Said, I went to his rallies, uh, and he said the best way to help Michigan families was to establish a single-payer system and get rid of the insurance corporations. Now, obviously, Blue Cross and Blue Shield <laughs> does not like that approach because it would basically end their uh, usefulness. They wouldn't be in business anymore because you would have a statewide single-payer healthcare system that would not be private insurance. Now, during the campaign, Whitmer um, was very defensive against that. Uh, she campaigned against single-payer health care. And even when uh, after she won the nomination, she did not tack to the left on that issue. She decided to go, no, let's go with more affordable health insurance instead of, you know what, that's a great idea, single-payer universal health care for everybody, for all Michiganders. Uh, now, <clears throat> When, of course, when you criticized her for that, uh, she said this, it's extremely sexist to say that a woman is beholden to her father's former employer. That's what she told CNN. Don't, like, here's the thing, like, you're going to play the sexism card. It's not sexism at all. It, this is about getting money from corporations and having personal ties with those corporations and having them be your donors uh, and serving the people, right? So are you going to serve the people or are you going to serve your donors? See, so that's what I, that's why I like not taking corporate PAC donations. That's what I like. Uh, one of the reasons I liked El Sayed. He didn't take corporate PAC donations. Therefore, he had to work for the people because that's who was funding him. Whitmer, funded by corporations, mainly uh, Blue Cross Blue Shield, well, she's going to work for Blue Cross Blue Shield. Now, sexism has nothing to do with this. Now, that said, now that she's won the election, now that she's beaten Bill Schuette, who, of course, was horrendous, a horrendous candidate, I feel like it is our responsibility to hold our elected officials accountable. And this is one of the main things. As somebody who believes in single payer, who knows that it is much more effective, not at just delivering health care, but also doing so uh, at, a, at, a, at a lesser cost for taxpayers and giving better results. I feel like Whitmer serving these corporate interests is not in the best interest of, uh, of the people of Michigan. Now, as I said before, uh, 
is she better than Shooty? Absolutely. So I, I look, I don't regret voting for Gretchen Whitmer. I, I voted for her in the in the general election, but I voted for Al Syed in the primary. Why? It's because he was far more progressive. Whitmer did run to the right of Al Syed, but nonetheless, she does have a, a more progressive uh, platform and, and was uh, more pro labor, and she'll be a decent governor. But on health care, uh, look, single payer, we need it badly here in Michigan. We have hundreds of thousands of people who are uninsured or underinsured because our costs are prohibitive. So, look, and if you want to give credit for Whitmer, and I, I know there's a lot of you who support her that, that might be saying, look, she has done a lot of stuff for, for Michigan families. She helped expand Medicaid. And I think that's wonderful. But she needs to take the next step and begin building the foundation of a single-payer system. Now, will she do that? I, I don't know. I don't, honestly, uh, she's taken a lot of money from Blue Cross and Blue Shield. And now with this uh, appointment to her honorary co-chair position of somebody from Blue Cross Blue Shield, I think it's not as likely. But I do think with enough pressure from the left, enough people pushing her on that issue, then maybe anything can happen. But this is all about holding our politicians accountable. And so... You know, I think that it, that it is important to push her on that issue of single payer. And so that's what we need to do. Keep pushing until we get single payer. Hey guys, hopefully you enjoyed that free video. Now I'm going to have to ask you a favor. Between the uh, demonetization and the YouTube algorithm messing around with view counts, etc. We're having a hard time adjusting to the new YouTube reality which is where you guys come in. See, we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash TYT Nation set up to help us rely on the, you guys, the viewers, instead of big corporate ads. Look, you know the show. You know how I'm not in favor of big corporations anyway. So help us transition away from relying on the ad model to pay the bills and sign up to be a patron, patreon.com slash TYT Nation. That goes a long way to help us keep the lights on. And you guys will know that you're supporting independent progressive media.